the 37th national games being held in Goa. With us is uh, Dane, who is uh, IQ Coil. And uh, races have just uh, gotten over for the third day of sailing. Yeah. And uh, so, can you please tell us about your experience so far? Uh, it's been a bit of a, like a roller coaster of an event. Whereas, uh, wondering whether the weather would come in, uh, whether there would be an wind. A lot of waiting, a lot of long days, but uh, successfully we have. I mean, the race committee has been, uh, completed uh, nine races, I think. and uh, after these nine races, I'm comfortably in the lead, and I have uh, unofficially won the regatta with uh, two, I think, uh, three, three, four races. So, can you just explain to our viewers here about uh, how the format of the races are? I believe there's a slalom format, and yeah, yeah. A... So, the, so basically. Um, we measure the, first the wind is measured and uh, if it's an average of 10 knots of wind which is around uh, 20, 21 kilometers per hour, then they have something known as a traditional up and down wind kind of course, which is your traditional sailing course. And uh, if the wind is below the 10 knots uh, and above 5 knots, then they conduct a slalom course. So basically a slalom is like a short burst, uh, it's like a 4 to 5 minute uh, race which is fully uh, focused on speed, whereas um, in contrast to the up and down, which is more of tactical, tactical sailor. So, uh, finally, I mean, the, been uh, held in your uh, home state of Goa. Yeah. Uh, please tell us a bit about this, how the conditions are for sailing. A lot, of, a lot of people ask me uh, about that, and uh, my answer is always the same, is that there is no better place to, to windsurf in or sail in than Goa. And uh, that, that is coming from someone who has been sailing across the world for quite some time now. And I've uh, seen quite a few places, quite a few nice places, but this is always the best for me. Uh, there's so much uh, going on in terms of like a uh, contrast of flat water to choppy water out outside the jetty and a bit of stronger wind outside as compared to inside. So it's a good place to learn and to increase your skill level. So do you think with your and your sister's uh, medals, uh, hopefully they will be gold, uh, more kids will take on to this uh, sport? I hope so. I hope so. I would, uh, I mean, uh, that is always a dream, right? To have more participation, to have more growth, and uh, also to have the right kind of support at the right time. And uh, for us to be able to do this right here in Goa for these national games in particular, it's so much. It is it's such a big event. You know, everywhere you go uh, in all the arenas, you can see the amount of uh, passion that all the sports have been played in. And for us to win gold for Goa here at home, it's unreal. So I hope, I hope there's more support to follow. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.